The reason I started out with Godfrey the most because I was so hurt when they was like, Corey said this. I told Godfrey on the phone. Yeah, see, I, I didn't know that you talked to my heart. That's breaking my heart. That ain't yeah. what I said. But they had the little fruit booty in the background on the back Doria side of the game say, Corey said if you've been in these many movies, you damn right I said that shit. Y'all ain't telling the truth about how y'all get down. It's more information than that. I can, you know what? I'm going to be nice. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to just put them facts out there and how y'all explain that. Because you got to explain it now. If you don't explain it, everybody going to be like, hey, Dingo. Yeah, that's Godfrey co-host with the little um, dude being all the movies. I don't dislike these people. Don't say Corey don't like you, but I'm saying, I said if you've been in three or more movies, you probably had a dick in your ass. I just want the shit to make sense. Because y'all try to act like I'm bullshitting. Y'all ain't telling the truth about everything. You not. But I'm just getting to this stuff, man. Come on, man. Look at that. Man, I tried. I noticed it when I first saw it. I didn't say nothing. I'll leave it alone for now. Oh, my God. I've never seen Somebody that. said I was in four movies. I, I was in a, maybe three or four movies. That's why I said you probably, probably had a dick in your head. I was excluding myself, but then they went and ran with it and said, he said, if you did this, you had oh fellatio. Motherfucker, I, ain't, I don't, fellatio ain't one of my words. Okay, so we all know the beef between Corey Holcomb and Donnell Rollins kickstarted after Donnell Rollins interrupted Corey Holcomb's show at the Laugh Factory. And we cover videos breaking that down. If you missed it, I'll have the link to that video down below. So yeah, we all know Corey Holcomb and Donnell Rollins now have a beef with each other, right? So comedian Godfrey, he had talked about it on his podcast, his co-host Dante, they had reacted to the news with Corey Holcomb and Donnell Rollins beef. I would like to highlight what Godfrey had to say because Corey Holcomb had responded to Godfrey comments. So with that being said, if you guys missed what Godfrey had to say, I'm gonna highlight a little bit of that before I get into Corey Holcomb's clip. But let's check out what Godfrey had to say about Corey Holcomb and Donnell Rollins comedy beef. Here's a video. Corey Holcomb versus Donnell Rollins thing. Oof. Oh, yo. I uh, Listen, it looks like we this footage that we see of Corey and Donnell arguing, it looks like it was in the middle of something and we didn't catch the, the beginning. Laugh Factory? Is that right? Yeah. Laugh it's Factory, California, and I think it just happened. I think it was yeah. Chocolate Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Because Chocolate Sunday is negative as fuck, but go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, that was that was I want to know how that started because there's you can tell it got it something came before that. Corey don't know Donnell's work, nigga. Yeah, Donnell his Hood. here's there. Donnell is funny as Hood fuck. love. Donnell is funny as shit. He's never bombed. He's funny He's than a, a motherfucker. Killer. Period. Corey Holcomb, same shit. Corey comes up from the ghettos of the the ghetto in Chicago. But because, but, but maybe because he's in L.A. or because he was out there, he don't know Donnell's work. But Donnell puts in the work. Donnell is a beast. Is a beast. And I love Corey and his and his honesty. But he was wrong on his acting. He even owned. But here's the thing: Corey's brand is I keep it one hundred. Yeah. Right. And so when the, when something happens, niggas, Corey's a nigga that they go to yo. Yo, who who am I? Yo, I want to hear what Corey got to say about this. Yeah. So yeah. he's one of those in the yeah. hood where yeah. dudes go to him. Let me hear what Corey's take is. Yeah. Was. But when you say you the you keep it a hundred, and you try to say that Donnell is mild, mm. you lose credibility because that is a lie. Wait, we're going. If you have three or more movies, that's, that's so ridiculous. not true. First of all, <laughs> Corey, Corey, three stop. movies, three movies. I think Corey's also like, you're trying Corey to fucking people with people. Yeah, but yeah. three movies ain't no, that ain't nothing. Yeah. And if you can't get three movies, you can't act. Right, right. So, And there's people who can't act that are in 100 movies. In 100 movies. Right. So, but that's not true. If you're, not if true. you're, you're getting a, if you're getting a special, you're getting fucked in that, that's, that's not true. There's people who are getting things 
normally. Just, hey, let's put them on. Or somebody likes you and, and you get lucky you. and you're not getting no fingers in the butt to be Iron Man. I always say Iron Man. I don't know why, but I always say Iron Man. Okay, that's what Godfrey had to say about it. Like I was saying, he was showing love to both Corey Holcomb and Donnell Rollins. Corey Holcomb did his 5150 show last night, and Corey Holcomb was pretty much saying that Godfrey is on Donnell Rollins' side. So with that being said, let's highlight what Corey Holcomb said. And before I highlight Corey Holcomb's clip, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Hit that like button. That really does help this YouTube channel continue to grow. And don't forget to subscribe up to the YouTube channel as well. Let's check out this clip right here. Here's a video. They said he a beast. They say he a beast. Listen, that special that he shot had been shot three times. That's the best out of the three. What beast mode at? What beast mode at? I watched it. I'm trying to promote your shit. I watched it. Bro, that's beast mode. I'm talking about that special he did. That, that's, beast, that's beast mode. What the fuck is a beast? Do y'all know something I don't know, Godfrey? And um, what's his co-host name? I'm sorry. He's not an awful comic. I never said he was awful. I said he mild. Mm -hmm. And the special and the proves president. he mild. I looked at the comments. Somebody said you get about a laugh every eight minutes. I'm a, who? Dante, the brother Dante. The I'm not talking crazy to y'all. Godfrey or Dante. But in my opinion, you took his side. See, this is how I live. It ain't no... I'm down the middle. You either on my side or you on the other side. And if you walking on the middle, I'ma push you on the other side. Godfrey and Dante, I'm gonna I'm keep it real. I think y'all like Dirty Larry. I think y'all like him. And I'm talking about Backdoria like. Y'all can't be saying he a beast on stage. He must be a beast in the bedroom. I'm just saying he got to be a beast in bed. Donnell, I didn't know you be knocking them niggas down like that. Oh my God. Oh. I'm not saying this to be mean. I'm saying this to let you know. Godfrey, I'm only, talk I'm only talking facts. It's because the streets don't know. And I always had you up under me as a friend of the family, so. But the streets don't know. Godfrey, you stay with a gay Caucasian male, am I right? Because y'all said, they was up there, they said, Corey said, if you did three movies or more, you perform fellatio. That ain't what I said. I said, if you did three or more movies, you probably had a dick in your ass. I didn't say for sure. I said, you probably had a dick in your ass. Godfrey, I understand you did over 60 movies. Oh. It ain't no doubt you didn't had intimate time in a weird way. If you done done 60 movies, there's no way you could do 60 movies without washing up at a nigga house. And I know you did because you stayed or still stay with a gay Caucasian male. People don't know that. Y'all want to discredit me and act like I'm wrong. You stay with a gay man or you or you used to. Did you decide to move out? You've been had your own rent money. What the fuck happened? I'm not mad at you. I'm just stating the facts, Godfrey. You, Godfrey, I'm not the one to play with. Yo, you called me. Corey, what happened? Say, yo, 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 just to get information. But I told you. I didn't say nothing about no fellatio. And you on your show saying fellatio. So that's why I'm doing this. It's time for the people. Y'all people who live in that lifestyle got to stop hiding. Godfrey, if I'm lying, tell me I'm lying. You either still stay with or used to stay with a gay Caucasian male. You ain't got no kid. Here we go. Okay, so Corey Hogan was pretty much saying that he doesn't like people that play the middle. So he's going to push a person to the other side. And that's when he said all of those things about Godfrey, as we heard in the clip. So I would like for you guys to get in the comment section down below. I would love to hear y'all thoughts about today's video. And surprisingly, a lot of people in Corey Holcomb's comment section, they was calling him out saying that he's keeping a lot of beef and drama going inside of this comedy thing, man. So I would like to hear y'all thoughts about that as well. Hit that like button if you made this far in the video. Don't forget to subscribe up as well to the YouTube channel. Check out Corey Holcomb's 5150 podcast. I have the full link to that video down below. And also Godfrey's link down below if you guys want to go check out their full videos. Catch you guys on the next video, guys. And we out, guys. Peace.